got something for you. The new parts will be fitted to the truck. The simulation numbers are good, so look forward to your feedback. Hello, this is JY83, and this is another episode of my Salva career mode. This time it is the Italian Grand Prix, which just started with an upgrade there, which is pretty nice. I think it was rear floor under tray. A bit of aero package, which is going to be good for the Salva, as it is still pretty awful, but we're getting slightly closer to matching the McLaren now. So that's pretty uh, pretty good stuff. We're getting uh, near to the midfield, or nearer than Salva are in real life, so it's going pretty well. And we've had a few points uh, recently, one in Hungary and also uh, not in Spa, but in Hungary we did get points, and hopefully we get some today as well, as uh, a little another AI a week at Italy, and also because they are on default setups, I can just run like two two wings and have ridiculous straight line speed compared to them all. So that should be pretty helpful. But going to the practice programs, they were going pretty well. We got purple in the tire wear and the uh, track acclimatization, and now onto fuel economy, we're going to get uh, green. Looks like unless something ridiculous happens out last corner, which it doesn't, and we're going to get green score thirty points there, decent stuff. And now onto the next test, which is the uh, I think this is qualifying pace, and we're about half a second up on the time on the C plus tires. That should be, be enough for at least the green, don't know how good the purple score is, uh, but 19th is my target and we're going to exceed that, and yes we do get the green score, not quite purple, but that's how I would take green, and then this is my uh, uh, race strategy test, and Ocon, I was up on my time and for the purple score, if I'd have beaten that lap time it would have been a purple score, but unfortunately Ocon decided to stick his nose in where it wasn't belong, didn't belong, and ruined that lap into Ascari, and unfortunately that made it so uh, I couldn't complete that lap in the good enough time, so and I couldn't bother to do another two laps to be honest, so I just took the 30 points. And uh, if you want to complain, then blame Ocon basically. And uh, coming up to finish that lap, we're going to finish with three tenths off the time. And Ocon is still behind me, he's going to probably take down the straight, but we're going to return to the garage anyway. And now onto uh, qualifying Q1. Obviously, it's always a challenge getting out of Q1 in this Salva. Let's see what we can do. And uh, coming down towards the uh, Ascari chicane again, there's a car behind me. He's probably going to go for an overtake. And it is Ocon again. As if the Frenchman just doesn't seem to know how to stay behind me into Ascari. And yeah, I tried to let him through in a bit more quick way this time, but we still lost for about half a second there getting out of his way. And that's ruined my lap. And now onto my second run. And you can just see I'm pretty much level with my time. And then through Ascari, I've gained uh, half a second yet. So that's just how much time I lost in that lap. I mean, run right, which you're allowed to do, hopefully, as long as the FIA uh, don't care about that as they did in real life, as uh, they were allowed to run right there in real life pretty uh, every lap so that's going to be helpful for me but coming down towards the parabolic chicane with four minutes left I believe we have one more lap after this on the same set of tyres that's going to be uh, probably might affect me actually it won't because it's Q1 so it won't affect my race start at all but that's improvement by four by three tenths and now onto the final lap we're improved by another four tenths actually it's a very good lap and uh, we're currently in 17th ahead of both McLaren's and my team and Pascal so can we improve a bit more four tenths up almost half a second up now and we're going to improve to a 20. 4.4 and that's going to be 16th but then coming to the end of the session we dropped down to 17th science improved but we're only like 300s off car science there it's a very good lap very good uh, attempt there so now i'll leave you down to crofty to take you down the, the grid order yesterday puts him on pole position with sebastian fettel starting alongside looking down the rest of the grid we have bottas raikkonen max verstappen and perez ocon ricardo holkenberg and kevin magnuson Grosjean, Palmer, Daniel Kvyat, and Massa, Stroll, Sainz, Asalba, and Fernando Alonso. Van Dorn and Pascal Wehrlein completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So race track there, looks like quite a simple one stop, 50% uh, race, so uh, quite an easy super soft to soft stint. And let's get straight into the race start then. For the Italian Grand Prix from Monza, five red lights, and it's quite a long hold here, but the lights are out now, and away we go for the Italian Grand Prix. It's a decent start, getting alongside Carlos Sainz almost already, and Lance Stroll, we're gonna make it three wide, or if we can, but unfortunately, attraction for Stroll and Sainz is a little bit better, so we're gonna try and uh, keep alongside. There's a little bit of gap in middle, I'm gonna go for it. Down the middle of the, t the pair of them, then inside Jolly and Palmer there, and it's four wide, we're getting absolutely barged all over the place. What is this? I'm sandwiched between Palmer and Sainz, this is not fun. And yeah, that's not gone very well, but I did actually gain a few positions there, so up to 14th, headed down the now as well. So up to 14th from 17th, decent start, although there was a lot of argy bargy getting the shoulders out there. Unfortunately, around Jolly and Palmer's car, we went to rich mix, we've got better straight line speed with the lower wings, and Palmer is defending to the inside. We're going to try and sweep it around the outside of turn four, and we've just about done that now, and uh, got the position into turn five, into turn four, that is, I think. And uh, yeah, Palmer down to 13th, us into, uh, into 13th, sorry, Palmer in 14th, if I can get my uh, correct positions out. But now onto the uh, beginning of lap two now, 
and there's cars ahead of me going side by side. You can see that the, the uh, top pack are broken away a little bit. But there's cars side by side there. That's the, I think it's two Haas cars, a Magnussen and Romain Grosjean. That's caused a massive Constantina effect. And Massa slowed down here. And they're still side by side, the two Haas cars of Magnussen on the inside of Grosjean down towards the uh, turn four. And now uh, we're going to try and get in the situation of Massa. Can we make a move into the uh, next chicane? It'll be uh, similar to the one we made on Palmer. But we're going to go to the inside this time, dive it up the inside. And now we're up into 12th place with that. We've made that stick. Yes, we do. And Ricardo is 11th for some reason. I don't know what he's doing down here in his Red Bull. Uh, I must have, he must have had a terrible start. I think he qualified well, well in the top 10, so not gone very well for Ricardo. But we're up into 12th, and the points are just there. So there's, there's, there's a realistic chance of points today, and uh, I'm going to look to exploit that chance and take it. But now down towards Ascari, Massa is still right behind me. Obviously, you know, the Williams is very quick in a straight line. And for all my uh, advantage below wings, Massa still has a Mercedes engine, which we don't have, of course. But now Ricardo's going to move on Grosjean into the next chicane, into Ascari. Can we take advantage of this? As the AI normally slow going side by side, Grosjean's got a terrible exit. It goes swoop down the out outside, up into 11th place now. So Ricardo has got a bad exit. Can we uh, get into this stream, maybe make a move into Parabolica? We kind of think about it, but then back out of it quite sensibly. He's in a Red Bull, so hopefully he can just drag me towards the... Uh, the rest of the pack up into ninth with Kevin Magnussen, uh, the first car in ninth place. But uh, now Ricardo has overtaken Magnussen and Hulkenberg actually. So can we try and get on the back of this train and overtake the pair of them maybe down towards turn one, the chicane? But uh, no one's pitting it as of yet. But we're down to 11. We've broken away from Massa and Grosjean quite a lot actually. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're up into a clear 11th place now. And Magnus is going for Rumor Hulkenberg, the arch nemesis from real life. But how are they going to fare into turn one in Monza on my career mode? They make contact, there's a wheel to wheel rubbing for Magnussen and Hockenberg. We're going to try and get a clean exit, and we've just about lined up Magnussen. That is up, up into 10th place, so it's good stuff. We're up into the points, or well, one point as it stands. But Magnussen's still up to go, his nose at the inside, got a leaving space, and this is very close stuff with the Dane. And he, he's known for being quite a bad driver in real life, quite an aggressive driver. So down towards the next chicane, I'm pretty careful, and we're just about leaving space, but then forced him out at the last minute, and then up into 10th place, where Hockenberg unfortunately got a good exit. So not really a chance of overtaking him by the time being, but now on to like 10, quite a few hours later. And a lot of cars have pitted now. Massa's come back towards me with his soft tyres, which are more durable. And he's, just, he's swooped around the outside there, not really a chance of uh, holding him. And he is up into 6th place, but a few cars have pitted, including Lewis Hamilton, who's behind me. And uh, he's just a second behind, so that's not going to be difficult to keep him behind. But um, yeah, there's not really much point, as he's a different strategy. But uh, we've got the super soft tyre still, and I'm actually going to box this lap a lap earlier than I thought I would. But uh, we want to try and get a little bit of an undercut and not lose out too much if we go a lap extra, which is pretty detrimental if you do go a lap extra, especially in the game as the undercut is very powerful. But Hamilton's right behind me. We're going to pit anyway. Down to us, the pit lane into the pits, and the uh, science is behind me actually now on the mediums, who we obviously started alongside, but we uh, managed to break away from an awful lot. And uh, Kvyat now is behind me, and we're going to lose a lot of positions, but obviously all the medium runners still have to pit again, so they, I think they'll be going to super soft at the end. And uh, that should be quite a challenge to try and keep them behind, but it's quite a quick pit stop, 2.6 seconds, decent for the Sour Boys, and I'm down to 17th, and Kev Magnussen is the next car behind me. I'm not sure if he's he pitted a lap earlier, I think, and he's got the medium tyres, but he's not actually close enough at all, so we've managed to negate the undercut that Magnussen got, maybe because he was on mediums, and uh, maybe just because he had a messy outlap or something, I don't know, but... Uh, down to 17th, but it's not all over yet because obviously a lot of cars ahead of me start to pit and now here's one car pitting, it's Felipe Massa who we obviously were battling just before we pitted and we haven't really got an undercut unfortunately but um, he's just out ahead of us. Can we line him up maybe into turn 4 and uh, down to, towards his second, well it's effectively a straight even though there's a big kink in the middle but uh, Massa obviously has to go straight on speed and with those super soft tyres he's going to break away very quickly I think. But obviously it's a very grippy tyre and uh, there's not much of a chance of us keeping him at bay really but he's yellow flag, what's this for? There's a car off on the mini map, you can see there. Who is that in the gravel? I think that's Lewis Hamilton. Yes, it is. So Hamilton is backwards. I think he's got a puncture. So that is him going to be pretty much out of this race, unless he does an unbelievable recovery. But now Julian Palmer's going around the outside towards Ascari. He's got the super softy fitted after me. Can we uh, retain him to uh, 14th place? Yes, we can. Just keep up the inside of Ascari. There's a car going slowly ahead of me, Massa. I don't know if he's he might have found a bad run for Ascari there or something, but we can't take advantage of it. I'm now back up to 10th place, so... This is now everything's a net position because I'm not actually pitting again. So Magnussen is going to go flying down the outside, and that has not gone well. But he's got the DRS, of course, and probably Rich Mix as well. But he's going into Ascari now. He's locked up his front left. And we've just about to swoop down the inside again, and that is good stuff. We're back into 10th place. Obviously, a point is everything for Salva. But Magnussen's got a good run. He might make a move into Parabolica. And yes, he is. He's going to the outside. But can we hold it? And Lewis Hamilton's now out of the race just to, to further like annoy him really because obviously he had that puncture earlier on and was backwards in the gravel so not a position game for me unfortunately as Hamilton was already behind but still he's out the race that could be important for the championship 
and now we're down towards lap 19 now and uh, Magnussen's going down the outside again it's a uh, the deja vu from the previous lap and we're going to try and hold up the inside once again forcing Wilder to be locked up his front left again so Magnussen's struggling with that corner obviously we know Haas struggle with brakes an awful lot in real life but I don't know if that's in the game really but Magnussen is still trying to get past me but we're being a bit of a roadblock for him here which is good stuff because obviously points are everything as I said before and now I think Kvyat is just behind Magnussen as well so this could get pretty spicy down towards the uh, first chicane now as Kvyat and Magnussen will both have uh, it might be Kvyat actually, oh, it's science actually my mistake and there's a car in the pits and that's Massa pitting again I don't know, quite know what he's doing but Magnussen now is going to go to the inside line looks like and, and science is on the outside three wide down towards the first chicane it's a very very close racing here can we break later then yes we can just about into turn one and science and Magnussen go wheel to wheel actually so that's giving me a little bit of breathing space and uh, that is pretty uh, helpful. It's now Science has got a pass Magnussen. He's going to go past me as well. It looks like he had the inside Parabolica. I've, he's got a very good turn in on those super soft tyres, which are much fresher than my softs. And unfortunately, he's got me there, unless I have DRS. Although he's pitting. So, yeah, Science on an interesting two stop, I think. So he must be going for another set of super softs to the end. But Magnussen's got a good run anyway. And he's going to go to the. Uh, he's going to switch it to the outside as a yes. He, I go very defensive. Grosjean's here as well. The two Haas cars on myself going with three wide. And we've got just about broken later than a into turn one beforehand. And now Grosjean's actually overtaken Magnussen as well. Although that's going to be a little bit more breathing space. But now on lap 22, Grosjean is going to try what his teammate failed to do and overtake me around the outside of Ascari here. And he's got a very good run on the super sauce, but can we hold up the inside? And it's going to be very close stuff. I break a little bit earlier though. Grosjean's a bit more confident on the brakes, looks like. We're going to sweep it around the outside of Ascari. That is a lovely move. And we've just about held that from Rowan Grosjean. And now onto the next lap, lap 23, through the Lesmos, and we've got Grosjean still right behind me for ninth place now. And you can just see a little train emerging here. I think it's um, Madison and maybe Kvyat in the Toro behind, but Grosjean is once again going to try to run the outside. We've been doing this a lot with Haas cars, it seems, this race, and it was just about uh, my tyres are not looking too good on the indicator there, but Grosjean's running outside again. Can we uh, keep him this time? He's gone over the curve a little bit. Can we just about hold it? Yes, we can. That is very close stuff. So side by side though. Grosjean held it around the outside, side by side through Par through Ascari there. Magnussen's going right behind as well. Can you make it three wide? There's not really enough room there. No, there isn't. Magnussen's actually giving me a push, which is kind of helping a little bit, believe it or not. And uh, Grosjean's still at the inside of Parabolica though, and he has broken away now. Got a much better grip through the corners as uh, this Sauber is pretty poor, and obviously it's got the fresher tyres as well to just add an uh, insult to injury. And now Magnussen's going to try up the inside, looks like. And there's a, I think there's a, another car on my just behind me. Magnussen's going to try it. And there is Kvyat just behind as well. We go switch back to the inside of Magnussen though. Down towards turn one. We go for a little bit of the lunge. Magnussen locks up his front right again. So he's really struggling with braking it seems. But Grosjean now has unfortunately broken away from me. And uh, yeah that's not gone too well. But now that's about 24. Magnussen is once again behind me into Ascari. And he's going to switch it to the inside this time. I don't defend it as well. I'm going to try and go defensive now. Switch it back to the inside. But now Kvyat is there. And Kvyat's completely hit me. Kvyat has spun me off. But I've managed to save it. And we just <laughs> retain that position it, the game didn't give me a legal overtake so I just thought I'd keep it but now Magnus is going to try and take it back down towards Parabolica and it's very close stuff here can we switch back into the slipstream stream and then go back into the lunge mode but no we don't do it and Kevin Magnuson now is a got that good advantage now but he, we will have DRS I think as Magnuson was ahead over the DRS detection line and we do also have an acceleration mark there because my ICE my internal combustion engine is struggling but now we're down towards turn one we have DRS on Kevin Magnuson we switch to the outside and that's going to be quite a simple move with the lower wings and the uh, DRS open. So that is us back up into 10th place. So we're, we're holding on to this point for dear life at this point. Let's have a quick look at a replay of what happened. Because Kvyat, as I think you could agree, he completely spun me off and I just drifted across across Ascari. So here's it from my point of view. Magnussen overtook me. I went back to the inside. Kvyat just spun me off. I managed to save it and like, kept it on the track. And this is what, from Magnussen's point of view, he didn't really know what was going on. You could just see it in the mirror there. And then quite amusingly, I just appear in the middle of Magnus's screen. That's a, well, obviously not a screen as he's not an actual driver. But um, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. But I managed to keep a position now with Massa on his super tough tyres. He's going to go to the outside once again. The AI loving a move around the outside of Ascari. But he's got that stuck. He's got that move stick to stick. But I'm, I'm pushing him wide a little bit. Uh, quite a dirty move, if I do, like, I'll admit. But um, I'll, I'll take it. Massa has got a much better run than me down towards Parabolica. There we go. Defend to the inside line. And now Massa is right alongside. I don't want to give it this up because, obviously, I want this point. There's only two laps to go now. One lap to go out of this corner. Can we lunge it back up the inside of Massa into Parabolica? Yes, we do. Very close stuff. We try and force him wide as much as we can. Yes, we do. And that is a good move back up into 10th place. And we have uh, managed to retain that for the time being. And now it's going to look at all the cars. My mirror is so frightening to see. And there's four cars, I think. With Stroll, Massa, I think, 
Kavia and myself. Look at this, five wide almost, definitely four. On the final lap of the Grand Prix, and we're trying to hold on for this point. Magnussen and, uh, and Stroll, and Magnussen's locked up once again. He's really struggling, but it's three wide to the second part of the chicane, so I have broken away a little bit, and that gave me the breathing space I needed. And now we're coming around the Parabolica for the final time. Lance Stroll just behind me. But you can just see how much Grosjean broke away. He's nowhere near me. But we're going to come up towards the line for the point for Sauber. A very good point there. And we have just about saved it and uh, going towards the uh, gantry. And unfortunately, it cut straight to Van Dorn. But I'm not quite sure what that was about. But we did actually, we did finish 10th that race, which is very nice to see. And now onto the podium. Kimi Raikkonen won the race from Valtteri Bottas. The two Finns are ridiculous in this career mode. I think between them, they've won all but three races this season. Something like that. So, yeah, Raikkonen and Bottas running away with the championship. Ricardo actually third. I don't know what happened to Vettel. Obviously, we saw Hamilton retired. And Ricardo was, we saw him in 11th, so it must have been a very good recovery drive from Daniel Ricardo, the smiling assassin. And uh, But good win for Raikkonen. I'm sure I'd be happy with that, although he never really seems happy about anything in real life. But now let's go on to the results of the race as we see the, the podium drivers having a little wave and stuff. But now on to the results. Raikkonen, Bottas, Ricardo, we saw Vettel in fourth with Max Verstappen fifth, Espen Ocon under the two Force India sixth and seventh. Hulkenberg 8th, Grosjean 9th and myself holding on for that final point in 10th place which is very nice to see. You can just see on the timings, yeah, Stroll, Madison, Palmer, Kvyat, Massa and Sainz all just behind me with Stoffel van Dorn uh, and Verla actually behind me who did pretty decently to come 16th and uh, yeah Massa, uh, Massa came 15th in the end after being alongside me in turn 1 so interesting to see that but now we're, we're 14th in the championship. Ocon's actually overtaken us all. I think uh, he received a bit of a buff in the latest update. So he's now going to probably romp away, and we're still 14th, though. Level on points for Johnny and Palmer, but he's got a better count back, so that's not gone well. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. Comment what you thought on the video. Uh, subscribe for future uh, Karimo videos. This has been J183. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.